是他们起的那个名字我念不出来。来了，公主来了。Hi Krishna. Hi Krishna. His mother gave him a gift. Oh, I'm just looking. Oh, I'm just looking. Wait, wait, wait. Good morning, Guru Mahārāji. Good morning. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Krishna. Okay, one more question. Om Magyana Tamarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanyena Tasma Shri Garave Namaha Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhaihe Vacha Patitanam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare We're reading Brihad Bhagavatam Rita and we're hearing how Narada Muni is searching for the person who received the greatest mercy from Lord Krishna. 我们在阅读的这本书是《大国教堂甘露》，呃，我们听到努拉的母女，她正在寻找到底是谁得到了主菩萨的最大的仁慈。So Narada Muni had gone to Indra, and then Indra sent him to Brahma, and now Brahma has sent him to Shiva. 嗯，拉的母女呢，就后来被指向了 Indra， 天地 Indra 又把他嗯介绍给了 Brahma。然后 Brahma 呢又介绍他去找主席了。So Narada Muni came to uh, Kailash, Lord Shiva's abode, and Lord Shiva was there. He was doing sankirtan, and he was in ecstasy. 主席呢在凯拉什山，呃，他正在从事 sankirtan， 持诵圣名，他处在狂喜当中了。So Narada Muni was very happy to see Lord Shiva in this condition, and he came closer. He wanted to take the dust from the lotus feet of Lord Shiva. Uh, Narada Muni 看到主 Shiva 这这个景象，感到内心十分高兴，他就走进了主 Shiva， 希望触碰主 Shiva 的莲花足。So when Narada came near to Lord Shiva. Suddenly, Narada came close and he embraced Lord Shiva. He actually wanted to take the dust from his feet, but he ended up embracing Lord Shiva. Narada 本来想触碰主 Shiva 的莲花足，但是他接近主 Shiva 之后呢，他就拥抱了主 Shiva。And Lord Shiva asked Narada Muni. He said to Narada Muni, "He said, 'My dear son of Brahma, what are you saying?'" Lord Shiva 对哪儿的母女说，我亲爱的 Brahma 的儿子啊，您在说什么？ Narada Muni was saying, had been saying that. You have received the greatest mercy from Lord Krishna. So Lord Shiva was shocked to hear Narada Muni say like that to him. And at first, 
Lord Shiva just found, he, he was thinking what Narada Muni was saying to him was very difficult to understand. So Lord Shiva stopped, he stopped playing, he stopped his uh, kirtan and he was dancing and chanting, but seeing Narada Muni come there, Lord Shiva stopped his kirtan and he sat down. And he sat down, he had a, a kusha mat, special kusha grass, and he sat in his special asana. He sits in a, a posture called the, the vir asana. That Vir Asana is called the hero posture. And Lord Shiva sat down surrounded by a few of his companions. And Narada Muni came and bowed in front of Lord Shiva and chanted, he chanted a, a, a Shiva mantra. So it said when people make a serious vow to do something, they should sit for meditation, they should sit in this hero posture. This Asan, that posture, it shows a person's firm determination to do something. And the Shiva Mantra, which Narada Muni chanted, it's from the Vedas, and it began with the words Namaste. So Narada Muni began to recite prayers glorifying Lord Shiva, glorifying him as the supreme controller of the universe. And Narada Muni was just went on to describe how Lord Shiva had received a lot of mercy from Lord Krishna. But Narada Muni praising Lord Shiva. Made him made Lord Shiva angry. And Lord Shiva, he covered his ears and he, he didn't want to hear what Narada Muni was saying. Now, Lord Shiva would say Vaishnavam Yata Shambhu, that Lord Shiva is the best of all the Vaishnavas. Lord 
就是的，被称为是 Vaishnava 的方向部，是 Vaishnava 中的佼佼者。He's considered, he's considered the greatest Vaishnava because he, he, in, he starts the teaching. He, he began the teaching of pure devotional service. 他之所以被称为最优秀的外师那瓦，是因为他传播的是纯粹的外师那瓦教义。And he be, he began his own sampradaya, the Rudra sampradaya. 他开创了最深的始祖传系 Rudra sampradaya. It's one of the four authorized Vaishnava sampradayas. 是四个。正宗的外师那瓦始祖传记之一。Actually, Lord Shiva is more famous as a Vaishnava than he is as an incarnation of Vishnu. 事实上，嗯，从 Shiva 以一位外师那瓦而得名驰名遐迩，这种名声更高于他作为主 Vishnu 的化身的名声。So Lord Shiva said to Narada Muni in an angry way. He said to him, "He said, 'I am not the Lord of the universe, and am not an object of Krishna's mercy.'" So Shiva, in a kind of angry, in a kind of angry mood, Narada Muni said, "I am not the Lord of the universe, and I am not an object of Krishna's mercy." I am just a poor soul who always wants the favor of this. I want to be blessed by the servants of the servants. 我只是一个可怜的灵魂，我总是渴求他的仆人的仆人的仁慈。In other words, Lord Shiva is saying that I want to get the mercy of Krishna's servants, but I am not fortunate enough to get it. 换言之，主师的想表达的意思是，我想获得主 Krishna 的仆人的仁慈，但是我还没有这份幸运，没我没有足够的幸运得到它。So when Narada Muni heard all this, then Narada Muni was shocked, and he, Narada Muni was, he thought he must have done something offensive. Narada Muni 听到主师的回答，感到十分震惊。他认为自己做了冒犯。So then Narada Muni he stopped praising Lord Shiva's.、Uh, he stopped praising Lord Shiva as being non-different from Krishna, and he, and he began to speak in a soft voice. 那他的目的停止赞扬主希瓦和主奎什纳没有区别，他开始一种柔和的声音说话。Because initially he'd been broadcasting, he'd been speaking loudly and telling everyone. 因为一开始，那他的目的是正在传扬，并且希望众人皆知。But now he's speaking in a soft voice. It's more confidential. So Narada Muni says to Lord Shiva, "He said, 'You definitely know the confidential and mysterious glories of Lord Vishnu and all the Vaishnava.'" 你肯定知道，主维什奴和万什那瓦的最机密的和神秘的荣耀。And you're also expert to explain about all of these things. 你也擅长精通解释这些荣耀。Actually, the greatness of the Supreme Lord and His devotees is limitless. 事实上，主及其奉献者的荣耀是无穷无尽的。And it's only by the help of people like Lord Shiva 
and other great Vaishnava Acharyas that were able to understand these things. So Narada is hoping that Lord Shiva will accept praise on, on this account that he is the greatest Vaishnava. So Narada Muni says to Lord Shiva, he says, the best Vaishnavas always want to get your mercy. And Lord Krishna also has great respect for you and Lord, Sh Lord Krishna is always uh, spreading your glories. <laughs> so Krishna, Krishna spreads the fame of Lord Shiva sometimes through his representatives and sometimes he does it himself. Krishna has Narada Muni tells Lord Shiva, he says, Krishna worshipped you many many times in his different incarnations. And Krishna has also even taken many blessings or boons from you. We can see examples of Lord Krishna getting boons from Lord Shiva in a, you have to read a book called the Vamana Purana. There it describes how Lord Krishna got the Sudarshan Chakra and how also he got Samba as his son. So that's a blessing by the blessings of Lord Shiva. He got all these things. So when Lord Shiva heard this, he got really upset. He was he felt ashamed and he jumped up on his to, uh, he jumped to his feet, he stood up. And he covered Narada Muni's mouth with both hands and he told him, Don't ever mention that foolishness of mine. Lord Shiva felt ashamed. He was embarrassed to be reminded that he had given benedictions to Krishna. Lord Shiva felt 
赐福主 Krishna 这件事呢，感到非常的羞愧难当。So then Lord Shiva said to Narada Muni, he said, just look at the, the incomprehensible power of the pastimes of the Lord. So Lord Shiva is, he wants to turn Narada Muni's attention to look at Lord Krishna, not to look at Lord Shiva. So Lord Shiva is pointing out to Narada Muni about the wonderful powers of the pastimes of Lord Krishna. Yeah. And when, when Lord Krishna does his pastimes with his devotees, Lord Krishna will sometimes do different, he will make different vows and he will do penances just to get the, the blessings of the devotees. So Lord Shiva says, my Lord, meaning Lord Krishna, is so, is so sober, is like a deep ocean of great qualities. And Lord Shiva said, even though I committed many offenses against him, he still does not reject me. So just like the ocean, if you go swimming in the ocean, you can never reach the bottom of the ocean. It's not possible for us to go swimming and know everything about the ocean. And the ocean cannot move from its place, it's going to stay in its place, it's fixed. And the other shore of the ocean, you know, you stand at one shore of the ocean, you cannot see the shore of the other side, it's so far away. So Krishna's qualities are like the ocean, they're countless. And Krishna has every possible kind of great quality. And his qualities are in unlimited quantity. So Lord Shiva, he considers himself to be offensive because he, 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 
he showed he was showing off his own power before Lord Krishna. And Lord Shiva is offering Krishna, he's giving Krishna benedictions. And other offenses Lord Shiva had also committed against Krishna were too painful for him to remember. But Lord Krishna never considers Lord Shiva to be offensive. And Lord Shiva only acts, he only acts in this world in order to, to spread the cause of Krishna's devotional service. Lord Shiva encourages people in devotional service, both directly and indirectly. So Lord Shiva was completely absorbed in pure devotional service for Krishna. So Narada Muni was very pleased to see this. So Narada Muni took Lord Sh he, he, want, he, he took hold of Lord Shiva's feet. And he made him sit down again. And he, Narada Muni wants to, he wants to satisfy Lord Shiva. He wants to convince that Lord Shiva is very dear to Krishna. So Narada Muni says to Lord Shiva, he said, you are so dear to the Lord. And Narada Muni said, I don't think it's possible you could ever offend him. Narada Muni said, I don't think you could offend him. Mm. People sometimes see what some people may 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 see what they they may think you are being offensive, but Krishna never sees that. Just like there's a great devotee of Lord Shiva whose name is Bana. And Bana was giving a lot of trouble for saintly people. And Bana had a thousand arms and he was very strong. He was very proud of the strength of all of his arms. So Bana had a daughter named Usha, and somehow it happened that Lord Krishna's grandson Aniruddha, he got involved in a, a very loving relationship with Bana Sura's daughter. Bana so this Bana used magic and he arrested Aniruddha and put him in his prison. Bana 
那魔就使用幻术，逮捕了阿那鲁达，投进了监狱。So Krishna came with his army to fight Vana to get Aniruddha free. Krishna 就率领军军队前来和巴那摩作战，释放了。And Vana, Vana had Vana fought, and Lord Shiva was also there. Lord Shiva was also staying at Vana's house, and and Lord Shiva fought for Vana Sura against Lord Krishna. Lord Shiva, 呢，他就站在巴那摩一边，他就帮助这巴那摩和主 Krishna 作战。So it happened. That、uh, Bana, who is a devotee of Lord Shiva,、uh, and and Lord Shiva had maintained Bana just like he was his son. Bana is Lord Shiva's devotee. 而主席吧，对待巴纳摩就像自己的儿子一样，维系着他。So this Bana was he was fighting against Lord Krishna, and Lord Krishna was going to kill him. So at that time, Lord Shiva came and offered prayers to save the life of Bana. 嗯，巴纳摩和主席吧作战的时候呢，他差点就被杀了。这时候，主希瓦就出现了，就向主开始供奉祷文。So when Lord Shiva began to offer prayers, then Lord Krishna didn't. He stopped his anger, and he didn't kill Bana. 然后主希瓦呢，由于主希瓦向主 Krishna 献上祷文，所以主 Krishna 就平息了怒气，就没有杀巴纳。And instead, what Krishna did was he cut off his arms, and he just left him with four arms, so that he had a four-arm form, just like Krishna has a four-arm form. 最后，主 Krishna 他就把巴纳摩的那个一千个臂膀呢，都一一砍掉，只给他留下了四臂，就像呃，留下了四臂的形象。And Krishna gave him a benediction. He gave Bana a benediction that he would always stay in the association of Lord Shiva and be one of his associates. Lord Krishna, 嗯，就赐福了巴纳摩，祝福他总是做始终的成为主 Shiva 的一个一位同游，待在他身边。So this was a great benediction which Shiva gave. So this is Shiva giving Bana a blessing. To be the, an associate of Lord Shiva, that's very difficult, even for other demigods. To be an associate of Lord Shiva, even for other demigods. To be an associate of Lord Shiva, even for other demigods. Actually, Lord Krishna was ready to kill Banasura. He'd already picked up his Surasan chakra, and he was going to kill Banasura. 事实上，主 Shiva， 主 Krishna， 他已经举起了他的神碟，准备杀掉巴纳摩。But just at that moment, Lord Shiva came and offered prayers. 就在此紧要关头，主希瓦出现了，就开始向主 Krishna 献上祈祷。So Bana had made many offenses against Lord Vishnu and the devotees. Bana 摩之前曾经对主 Vishnu 和其他和他那些外士那瓦做了许多的种种冒犯。But he had one credit. He had one thing in his favor, and that was that he was a He was a sincere devotee of Lord Shiva. But Shiva Muni has one advantage. He is a sincere devotee of Lord Shiva. So this, his devotion to Lord Shiva, created a good impression on Lord Krishna. Shiva Muni's devotion to Lord Shiva created a good impression on Lord Krishna. 
So he gave, it was arranged, he gave Bana a forearm form, which is just like Krishna has. And then Lord Krishna told Lord Shiva, he said, this demon, Bana, he still has four arms. He said he will, he will, he, he's not going to, he, he will also, we also bless him that he will not get old, he will not suffer old age and death. And he will serve as one of your, <coughs> one of your assistants. So this, he will not have to fear anything. He doesn't have to be afraid of anything. And when the enemies of the Vaishnavas, when the enemies of the Vaishnavas, such as Gargya, worship Lord Shiva by great penances, then you, Lord Shiva gives them benedictions. Uh, the benediction he gives them benedictions which have some which have some loopholes in them which have some loopholes it means some ways of getting out of the benedictions he gives them benedictions which you know, there's a way to get round them, to avoid. Hmm.当，嗯，像Gardia这样的Vaishnava的仇敌，嗯，崇拜通过严酷的苦行崇拜您的时候，嗯，您给予他们的祝福呢，嗯，将会有办法可以。Right. So this this person Gargya and other people who are against the Pandavas and against the Yadavas, they were all Well, well, this Gargya and others, they're enemies of the Pandavas and the Yadavas. And the Pandavas and the Yadavas are all devotees, they're all Vaishnavas. Gargya and other people, they are always afraid of the Yadavas and the Pandavas. And the Pandavas and the Pandavas are always so this this person Gargya and other people they worship Lord Shiva and Lord Shiva gave them the boons they wanted but he made some conditions which <laughs> which protected the devotees. So this person Gargya, he was a learned son of the great sage Garga. And this Garga was very proud of his knowledge. Garga为自己的学识感到十分的骄傲. 
So by Lord Shiva's blessings, Gargya got a son. But he did not get a son who could destroy the Yadu dynasty, which is what Gargya wanted. But he got a son who could put fear into the hearts of the Yadus and cause a lot of trouble for the Yadus. But they couldn't they couldn't destroy the Yadus. And then also Jayadrata, he also got a boon from Lord Shiva. Jayadrata got a blessing, a benediction that he could one that one time he could defeat each of the Pandavas except for Arjuna. And then Sudakshina, Sudakshina, he was allowed to destroy any enemy of his choice who was not a proper follower of Brahminical culture. So these these pastimes there they tell about these unfortunate devotees of Lord Shiva and they're all told in different scriptures. Some are in the Bhagavatam and some are in other books. So Narada Muni is telling all of this to Lord Shiva. He wants to describe the glories of Lord Shiva. So now Narada Muni, is go next he's going to speak about Chitraketu. And Chitraketu had in he'd uh, he'd criticized Lord Shiva. Because Lord Shiva was sitting with Parvati, his wife, one day, and he was embracing her. And he was sitting in front of an assembly of many other great men. So when, when Chitraketu saw this, he laughed. But Lord Shiva never got angry at Chitraketu. Lord Shiva knew that they were surrendered devotees of Lord Krishna. Of course, it is foolish for people to criticize Lord Shiva. 
，谁要胆敢批评主师了，那这真是很愚蠢。When Chitraketu made this mistake, when he said this about Lord Shiva, at that time he was not yet a pure Vaishnava. When Chitraketu made this mistake, he was not yet a pure Vaishnava. If he had been a pure Vaishnava, he would not have, he would not have criticized Lord Shiva. But Chitraketu, even as a as a new devotee, he had a connection with Lord Shiva. But Chitraketu, 尽管是一个新人新奉献者，他和主 Shiva 却有有着关联。He, he, he had、uh, Chitraketu had a connection with Lord Chitraketu had a connection with Lord Shesha. Lord Shesha is the expansion of Lord Krishna. Chitraketu 王和主 Shesha 有着关联，而主 Shesha 是是圣祖 Krishna 的扩展。Actually, Shesha comes from Lord Balaram, and Lord Balaram is the expansion of Lord Krishna. 事实上，主 Shiva， 主 Shesha 是来自于主 Balaram， 而 Balaram 是圣主 Krishna 的第一个扩展。So Lord Shiva was not offended by Chitraketu laughing at him. 主 Shiva 并没有因为 Chitraketu 王嘲笑他而感到冒犯。No, because just because Lord Shiva had Parvati sitting on his knee in the presence of so many great sages,、uh, Lord Shiva didn't get offended. He didn't get angry. 嗯，只当时，嗯，主呃，帕瓦提就坐在主希瓦的腿上，是在众圣人面前。嗯，但是呃，主希瓦没有因为这首 K 的王笑话他而感到生气。嗯、mm, ，Right. So another time, Narada Muni is telling, he said another time, just to please Lord Krishna, you had the desire. To become even greater than Krishna. Narada Muni said, "Another time, just to please Lord Krishna, you want you expressed that you want to be even greater than him." Hmm. But then Lord Shiva asked Lord Krishna. He asked him. He said, "Can can you make me your devotee?" 接下来，主 Shiva 就问主 Krishna， 您能不能把我变成您的奉献者 ？So this was Lord Shiva actually considered this to be a great offense that Lord Shiva had said like this to Krishna. 主 Shiva 认为他对主 Krishna 说的这番话，实际上是做了冒犯。And so just Lord Shiva, Lord, Lord Shiva, I, somehow he had the desire to be worshipped. Lord Shiva, he has this desire to be worshipped. And Lord Shiva himself is quoted in the Bhagavad Gita. And Lord Shiva himself is quoted as saying, "He says, 'When I don't receive the worship I wanted, then I serve.'" Lord Hari, in devotional service. Lord Shiva said, "When I don't get what I want, I serve the Lord in service." So he was serving the Lord in service. So he was serving the Lord in service. 
because of my ego, I want to be even greater than Lord Krishna. So Lord Shiva is admitting his own fault. But when Lord Shiva said like that, actually he was only saying like that for Lord Krishna's pleasure. Yeah, because uh, he thought that Lord Krishna would be pleased if he made a. He thought that Lord Krishna would not be pleased if he. He thought Lord Krishna would not be pleased if he asked that Lord Shiva become his servant. So because Krishna is self-sufficient, he doesn't like great devotees like Lord Shiva to be under him. So Lord Shiva, instead of asking to become the servant, he, off, he, he, he off, asked the opposite thing. Krishna already said that his servant, his servants are greater than him. The more important than worshipping Krishna is worshipping my devotees, Krishna says. So Lord Shiva is very clever, so he asked for the greatest position. And Lord Shiva also, he had heard how Krishna was playing dice with his queen Rukmini. So at that time, Lord Krishna had said that his devotee is more glorious than he is. And Krishna is saying like that because he wants that the dice will act as his devotees by serving him nicely. And then also, Krishna gave you and your wife Durga, they give you both the authority to give liberation. And that liberation is people like great devotees like Brahma and many other great personalities, they all want to get that kind of liberation which you can give. 
，您可以给予人们的这个解脱的祝福，是甚至连布拉玛和其他的人物也都渴求的、祈求的解脱。And、we should understand it's only by the blessings of Lord Vishnu that anybody can get free of birth and death. 我们应当明白。嗯，只有急着主威士诺的祝福，人们才可以摆脱生死轮回。And Lord Vishnu always follows the scriptures, and that's what it says in the scriptures. 主威士诺他总是总是遵守经典，而这是经典当中所说的。But Lord Krishna had promised Lord Shiva a position even better than his own. So that's why Lord Shiva gave. Oh, that's why Lord Vishnu gave the power to both Shiva and his wife. He gave them both the power that they can give liberation on his behalf. 主主威士诺就给予主希瓦和他的妻子这一种赐予解脱，代表他赐予解脱的力量。So Narada Muni says, "Just see, you have the power." And the opulence, which Brahma can never get, Brahma or any other demigods, they can never hope to achieve the power and the opulence which you have. Nada 说，嗯，看看，嗯，你拥有着，连那些 Brahma 和其他的半神都无法获得的力量和富裕。And although you have so much power and opulence, you don't care for it. You you don't worry about your material happiness, and you live like a, just like a madman. 尽管你拥有这些富裕和力量，但是你却不在乎他们。你的行为举止就像一个神神圣的疯子。And you're always in a trance of devotion for Lord Vishnu, and you appear like you're mad, like you're crazy. You 专注于自己的奉爱，你表面上好像是疯子一样。And and who else but you will go and dance with his wife and other people, and you're naked. 除了您之外，还有谁会和自己的妻子和其和他的那些侍从们一起跳舞？而您是在赤身裸体的状态下跳舞。So Narada Muni says to Shiva, "Say today I have seen your amazing, your amazing eagerness to serve the Supreme Lord in pure devotion." 拿的木女说：“今天我亲眼看见了您在纯粹的奉爱当中服务至尊主的这种无法控制的渴求。” So no wonder Lord Krishna always loves you the most. 怪不得主 Krishna 最爱您了。Okay, so we'll stop here today. 好，今天我们的。嗯，正课就讲到这里。接下来，请问有没有问题可以打，可以提出来 ？Right now, there are not. There is no question right now. Oh, really? Okay, so we'll keep going. Were there no questions from last night? Also, 嗯，大家就是昨天晚上，呃，这个奉爱的甘露的那课程，如果有什么问题，也可以在
这个周二的早上提，因为以以后我们就晚课的时候是泰国奉献者提问的时间，我们中国奉献者都是在周二的早晨回答问题。Okay, so Lord Lord Shiva Narada Muni said, "I can't say any more. Krishna's love for you is never interrupted." Um, I can say what else? Krishna's love for you is never interrupted. And by your mercy, many others have become dear. To Lord Krishna. Due to your kindness, many people became dear to Krishna. Very close. So Narada Muni is really amazed that、uh, that the Lord Shiva, who is the greatest master of yoga discipline, and who is the chief of self-satisfied sages, the husband of material nature, that he doesn't care about any. Standards of cultural behavior. He doesn't even walk and dance normally. Lord Shiva, his natural appearance, his natural expression of his feelings,、uh, well, go ahead.、Uh, don't worry about that. Narada 呢就感到十分的惊异，这位最伟大的瑜伽瑜伽之主，这位最了不起的自我满足的圣人，本来是物质自然的丈夫，他完全无视这种普通的文明举止的标准，他甚至都无法正常的行走和跳舞。嗯、mm. ，And Lord Shiva's, uh. Inner feelings. If if he, if he if he exhibits his inner feelings, but if if Lord Shiva's inner feelings were exhibited by anyone else, th then that person would be considered crazy. If Lord Shiva's this inner feelings exhibited by anyone else, then that person would be considered crazy. But Narada Muni, he understands that Lord Shiva's unusual behavior is a sign of his greatness. Narada Muni 明白，主 Shiva 的这番非同寻常的举止是他的伟大的一个征兆。It's a sign of his greatness as a Vaishnava, and he. Tastes the ecstasy of devotion with the Supreme Lord. This is his unparalleled great symbol. He, as a great Vaishnava, is a symbol of his devotion to the Supreme Lord. He is a symbol of his devotion to the Supreme Lord. He is a symbol of his devotion to the Supreme Lord. And that's why other great devotees, people like the the ten prachetas, they took shelter of Lord Shiva. To get to get Vishnu Bhakti from him. 正是由于这个原因，像十位 Prachita， 他们在渴求灵性的完美，他们也脱避于主 Shiva 来得到 Vishnu Bhakti. So now Narada Muni wants to praise also Lord Shiva's wife Parvati. 嗯，现在 Narada Muni. 也想赞扬一番主持我的妻子 Parvati. And Narada Muni said, "By Mother Parvati's mercy, many other people became very dear to Lord Krishna." Narada Muni 说，由于母亲 Parvati 的仁慈，许多的其他人也变得对对主 Krishna 十分的亲爱了。Mother Parvati knows everything in detail. About the real nature of Lord Krishna and also Lord Shiva. Mother Parvati, 详细的了解主 Krishna 和主 Shiva 的真正本性
the Pandavas, they can tell of people like Jana Sarma, Jana Sarma, who got the mercy of Parvati and became a great devotee. So that story will be told later in the Brihad Bhagavatamrita. So now there are questions. Huh? Now there are three questions. Oh really? Okay, we'll just go a little more. So Mother Parvati is Krishna's own sister and she always receives Krishna's affection. And that's why Lord Shiva, although Lord, that's why Lord Shiva cares for her, even though Lord Shiva is fully satisfied. So Parvati is not different from Yoga Maya. And Yoga Maya came from the womb of Yashomati, Yash, Yashoda Mai Devi Dasi. And, and she appeared from the womb of Yashoda Devi at the same time that Krishna was born from Devaki. Okay, so Parvati is like the sister of Krishna. And Lord Shiva always give, gives her pleasure by holding a wonderful festival and singing Lord Vishnu's names and, and, talk, and chanting the glories of the Lord. So at that time, Parvati enjoys the company of Lord Vishnu's devotees. So Lord Shiva was so embarrassed by hearing all this that he lowered his head. And then he's, he prepares to answer Narada Muni. So Lord Shiva, first of all, he felt very ashamed at, to hear himself praised. And then he thought, he thought that since what Lord Shiva is actually, what Narada is actually saying is not true, that Narada must be trying to make a fool of me or to make fun out of me. 
。主席吧，想，哪的这番赞美完全不符合事实，哪的一定一定是在嘲弄他。Okay, so we'll stop here. So what are the questions? Funny. 啊，嗯，舒蒂如何 ？These questions from 舒蒂如何对于达西 obesity guru， 呃 ，there are devotees around us. They say that during this period, their chanting is powerless, no power. They they are on the verge of eating meat. So what to do? They're on the verge of eating meat. Then, what? What? I don't know what's going on. You don't give much information. They say the chanting has no power. Yes, the the they are they are devotees. Maybe they are chanting. Well. I don't know how you could say there's no power in the holy name of Krishna. If you're not getting power in the holy name of Krishna, it must be due to the offences which you're committing. So you have to stop committing offences, and then you can feel the power of the holy name. You say that the chanting is powerless. You're thinking of eating meat. That is terrible. That is very sinful to do that. Hmm. Hmm. These offenders, they even want to eat meat. This is very sinful. Why would you Why would you want to eat meat? 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 If you're thinking to eat meat, you have not understood anything about Krishna consciousness. Meat eating is, you know, that's really bad to get involved eating meat. 嗯，卷到吃肉，然开荤的这件事上，这是非常不好的一件事。You want to understand the basic philosophy. First of all, we have to understand we're not the body, but that we're all pure souls. 那我们首先还得从最基本的哲学开始，就是我们要明白，我们不是这个具躯体，我们是纯粹的灵魂。And we can awaken our spiritual nature by chanting the holy name. 我们通过唱诵圣名，唤起、唤醒我们的灵性本性。You you have to be. You have to have some faith, however, in the chanting of the holy name. You should have faith, first of all, that the vegetarian diet is the proper food for the human body. 
，素食才是人类的正确的食物。A devotee would rather starve than have to eat meat. 一位奉献者，嗯，宁愿饿死也不会开荤。To eat, you know, to eat meat, you have to think about the animals. Don't you care about animals? Don't you like animals? 要是喜欢。要是吃肉的话，那么就那一定会涉及那些可怜的动物。那难道你不喜欢、不怜爱那些可爱的动物吗 ？When you think about meat, you should think about where the meat comes from. That it comes from the animals. The animals are living entities. 一想到吃吃肉，那你就要。考虑一下，这肉从哪里来的？肉是从动物身上来的，而这些动物它们也是活生生的生物。We have to understand what is the proper food for the human being. 我们需要明白，就是对于人类而言，人类应该吃些什么食物。If you eat animals, then your body becomes like a a graveyard for the dead animals. 嗯，倘若是嗯吃肉、吃荤食的，那么你这个躯体呢，就会成为动物的坟场。The human body has teeth which are meant for chewing. Grains and eating vegetables. The, the the teeth in the human body are not meant for eating meat. 嗯，人类的牙齿是用来咀嚼谷物和蔬菜的，并不适合咀嚼那个肉食。We don't have the teeth like a dog or like a tiger. 人类，嗯，人类的牙齿，嗯，人类没有像狗、犬类和老虎这样的尖锐的牙齿。Our teeth are flat. They're more meant for chewing and for grinding food. We're meant to eat grains and vegetables and fruits. 人类的牙齿是平的，呃，是，就是更适合，嗯，咀嚼。更更适合这种磨，就是研磨，呃，所以这样的牙齿呢是适合呃谷物、蔬菜和水果。And the intestines in the human body are also designed in a way which make it easier for us to eat vegetables and grains and fruits. 而人类的内脏，他们的这种。构造的设计也是为了为了消化谷物、蔬菜、水果。Uh, when you eat meat, then you get you get much more diseases than you do when you have a vegetarian diet. 嗯，如果是肉食的话，那比那个就吃素，他们更容易生病。Of course, you have to learn how to cook nice vegetarian meals. 当然了，你要好好的学习怎么烹饪素食。You don't want to just cook only some green leaves and some rice. 嗯，不要只是在那里煮一些大米饭，然后炒点青菜。So you have to understand. Uh, what is proper food? If you eat meat, then you get a lot of heavy karma from that. But when you eat vegetables, you you can offer that to Krishna, and you you don't get any karma. 嗯，另外呢，我们也知我们要知道什么是正确的食物。如果是吃肉，会得到很重的业报业力。但但是。如烹饪的素食却可以拿来供奉 Krishna， 这个是无业力的
So you want to avoid karma, and you can do that by having a vegetarian diet. But if you eat meat, then you're asking for a lot of problems. We come to Krishna consciousness to stop, to get free of problems, not to create problems. So please consider carefully before you do anything like that. So somebody's having difficulty to get taste in the holy name, they need to get better association. And you can get good association just by chanting. Just try to chant yourself from the heart. Mm. All right. So I'm very sorry to hear this, uh, Shruti Rupa. I'm very sorry to hear this. This is very serious. So please keep me informed. If I can help anyone there, let me know. Guru 繁文很有力量this question is from Xiang Xiang. Uh, she paid obeisance to Guru Maharaj and she said, uh, many devotees not learning Sanskrit and spending a lot of time reciting Sanskrit shl shloka. I, I felt uh, better to chant more, listen classes and read scripture. But uh, mm, this devotee think it is also a service and is equal to reading scripture and it is more powerful to recite sloka. Is it is this right opinion? Well, everything depends on the the attitude in which you do these activities. Just like somebody may learn a sloka and they may not know what the meaning of the sloka is. So you learn a sloka but you don't know the meaning, 
it's not going to be very much good for you. You have to learn how to use the sloka. You have to understand the meaning of the sloka and you have to let, be able to use it. It's nice, you're reading the Bhagavad Gita, you're memorizing the verses of Bhagavad Gita. It's, it's not bad, but we want you also to understand how you can make proper use of this knowledge. So you can learn slokas, but you also have to read. You don't just only learn slokas and not read. You still have to read the books. So you have to read the books and you have to do you have to chant the holy name and you have to also you can learn slokas also. It's okay. We don't say only learn slokas, but you have to you have to do other things as well. What? Xiangyang said that maybe she shouldn't judge others. Maybe it is a way that they are making spiritual progress. She shouldn't make, make any judgment to their behavior. She wants you to guide Yes, you don't want to be critical of others. Don't worry about other people. You take care of yourself. You do your own devotional service. Different people are inspired to do different services for Krishna. Some people are inspired to do to learn sloka, some people are inspired to learn to play the instruments, some people are inspired to learn cooking. So everyone is inspired to do some service for Krishna in different ways. So People, everyone has their own nature. So according to their nature, they're inspired to serve Krishna in a particular manner. Yes, so you're right. Don't be critical of others. Just keep yourself engaged. Krishna conscious. Okay.
Yes. 三里马尔，下一个问题是，呃 ，vivo 九，品牌 Guru， v vivo S 九 ，this is not the Sanskrit name, only the 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 cell phone automatically. Okay. Okay. 问题是什么？嗯。有 Krishna 的挂历，到年底怎么处理？他问怎么处理？到年底就是这一年结束之后挂历怎么处理 ？Krishna 的画像的挂历。嗯<笑> ，OK， what to do with Krishna's calendars after the year is over? So, well, what you can do is you can. Cut the pictures out if you like, and you can stick them on your wall. Now, some people they actually nowadays. We can also get the calendar on on the handphone. You don't need to get the hard copy of the calendar. 嗯，现在呢，当当代就是在手机上就可以得到这些日历了。就是当代呢，如果手机上就可以得到这些日历，就不需要这些纸质的日历。If it's a problem for you to dispose of it every time. Then just get the soft copy. 嗯，如果就是您处理这个日历这件事情上有问题的话，那么您就是嗯有电子版的日历就就好处理了。But if you have a lot of old pictures and things, then you what you can do, you can always bury them into the ground. 如如果您家里有很多那种老的，嗯，老的那些画片呢、图片呢，您的做法是，您可以把它们埋在地下。Yeah, put them back because they're made from paper, so the paper came from the earth, so you put the pictures back into the ground. 因为这些挂历、这些图片是用纸质的，而这些纸是，呃，是从，呃，树木，树木是从土壤、大地生长出来的树木，是来自于大地，所以让他们再回归大地。If you have a garden, you can do that. 如果你有花园，就可以这样去做。If you don't have a garden. Then, what to do? Then, just keep them till they get old, and gradually, gradually they'll go back. They'll become older and older, and one day you can put them into the sea or something. 嗯，如果您家里没有花园，在这种情况下呢，您就把就是把这些。就就保存着，让他们，呃，越来越旧，保存着越来越旧，直到有一天呢，您就把他们放在大海里。嗯 ，OK。好，下一个问题是来自于仆人，顶拜公入莲花组，顶拜所有贡献者，物质世界是巴瓦蒂管理还是主希瓦管理？ This devotee is asking who is in charge of the material, manage the material world, Lord Shiva or Lord Parvati, Mother. <laughs> well, they're one family, you know. They work together, Lord Shiva and Parvati. And so, Parvati, yes, she's a. Create. She. She's also very powerful. She's responsible for service 
and she works under the direction of the Supreme Lord. So along with Lord Shiva, they are together, Parvati and Lord Shiva. We can't separate them. You cannot say Parvati is in charge. Lord Shiva is also there. Where is Parvati, then Lord Shiva will also be there. Right? Just like the woman, the woman gives birth, but she can't give birth without the help of her husband. So, the same way Mother Parvati, she can't do anything without Lord Shiva. Of course, it's the mother who gives birth. The, the husband doesn't give birth. In the same way, the material world comes about from Mother Durga. Mother, the mother is the one to carry the baby, give birth, and the same way, Mother Durga, she is very much involved with the material world, with the with the creation. Okay. okay. No more questions? Yeah, there are still some questions. The next one is like uh, from Nityananda Ram. Hare Krishna, Ding Bai Guru Lian Hua Su, Ding Bai Feng Jian Zhe, Qing Wen Mao Fan Biao Ren Shen Ma. If you feel that you are Mao Fan, you don't think you are Mao Fan, is there still Mao Fan? Or is it the Lord Krishna to decide if you are Mao Fan? This devotee he is asking, what's the standard of offense? If I feel I offend others, but the others don't feel offended, is it still offense, or it is Lord Krishna who judge which uh, deed, which behavior is offensive? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Mm, he, um, Nityananda Rama. Ask if I feel I offend others, but the other devotee don't feel don't feel he is offended. Under the circumstances, am I offending the others? Well, are you are you intentionally trying to offend them? 
那么在这种情况下，是不是您在有意冒犯别人呢？ Yeah, if your if your intention is to offend people, then it's an offense. 如果是您故意的，那么就是冒犯的。When we have to consider also, what about、uh, what did you actually say? What did if they take offense? If they're offended, if they're if they're offended by you. Then it's a problem. Uh, 还得考虑您到底是说的什么话。嗯，如果他们他们确实就觉得这是个冒犯，那就是个问题了。Generally, he said the other don't don't take it as an offense. They don't take it as an offense. But did did he have the intention to offend them? 嗯，那那您。是是主动的在嗯有意的是冒犯别人吗？嗯 ，I think he is not. There's no intention. And they don't take. He any... says. <laughs> he says he feels he he had offended others. He feels he had offended others. Yes. Well, then you have to. Try to serve the devotees. Okay, that that 就是您您感觉冒犯别人，然后对方不觉得冒犯。那这种情况下，您要努力的去服务别人。By serving the devotees, then you can nullify your offenses. 嗯，您通过服务奉献者就可以抵消中和冒犯了。If you serve them nicely, they will please. They, if you please them, they will give their blessings to you. So, just always try to be the servant of the devotees. Yes, it's good. You're worried about offending the devotees. We don't want to offend devotees. 嗯，是的，就是您担心冒犯了奉献者，这个想法是，这种担心是好的，因为我们不想冒犯奉献者。So you simply always try to serve the devotees and to please them. 所以您就是一味的去服务奉献者，去取悦他们就好了。Generally, we offend the devotees. We we criticize them for different faults. We criticize, for example, their birth, or we criticize some of their past activities. 通常我们嗯就是批评奉献者，因为他们以前犯过错误，他们以前做出过他们以前的活动，我我们就为此而批评他们。So always try to praise the devotees and to appreciate them and give service to them. 要永远的始终的赞美奉献者，永远始终的欣赏奉献者，永远始终的服务奉献者。Then you won't have to worry about offending them. 这样就不用总是担心冒犯是不是冒犯奉献者了。嗯哼。All right. Uh, uh, next one is from Darcy. 不吃肉，为了履行家庭责任，给家人做肉，能起敌吗 ？Oh. Well, different people. Have different standards for this. 嗯，不同的人对此有不同的标准。Now, some spiritual masters they don't want their disciples cooking meat. 有的灵性导师不喜欢门徒去烹饪烹煮肉食。If you're cooking meat, 
then you're going to get karma for it. You can't think, don't think that you can cook meat and you won't get karma. You will get karma. So if you're in the situation that you have to cook meat at home for people and there's no other way you can avoid it, then you have to understand that your devotional service is not very pure. Some spiritual masters, they don't mind. They may, they may not know that you're cooking meat and maybe you never told them that you're cooking meat and they don't ask you. But we should understand it's not the business of a devotee to cook meat. So, in that situation, I would suggest that somebody is coming for initiation, that they have to wait longer before they get initiation. You have to understand this is somebody has that karma, that they're in that situation, so this is their karma. Now there are many, many devotees, they have that situation. We know it's common, common situation. But in China, we see that it's, it's common for the men also to cook. The women may want to be a vegetarian, but it's also quite common that the, the, the husband also likes, he will also cook. And so if he wants to eat meat, then the woman should be able to tell the husband, you know, you cook meat for yourself. You cook for yourself. I don't want to cook meat for you. If you're cooking, if you're, if you're cooking for your father, then then it's another problem. So
So you can also, you can tell your father that better you go and buy outside. Go and eat, but purchase the meat outside. You can. But the real problem is because you're not a very good cook. That's why people want to eat meat. Because you don't cook nicely and you can't satisfy them. So we try to educate people how to cook nice food, nourishing, healthy, nutritious food. Okay. Uh, this devotee is asking, what about Srila Prabhupada's opinion uh, on this? Srila Prabhupada, his whole life, never ever ate meat. He never cooked meat, he never ate meat. Srila Prabhupada, uh, will Srila Prabhupada agree that uh, that devotee carry out the family beauty and cook meat for family member and can they get initiated? I don't know. The situation never arose. But I remember one time, one man came to the temple and he asked Prabhupada to come to his home, to visit his home. So Prabhupada asked him, do you cook meat in your home? And the man said, yes, sometimes we cook meat. Then Prabhupada said, then I will not come to your home. Okay. Um, Chaitanya Charan, Hare Krishna, the Maguru Day, Huang Jin Nian Dai, Mayo Silo, Nashir and Shangri Chu, which of all, Kokuku is Huang Jin Nian Dai, then Ling Sing Shiji Yang. In the Satya Yoga, there is no evilness. Everybody is thinking about the Lord, serve, serve the Lord. Um, can we say that the Satya Yoga is equal as, is as good, is equal as spiritual world? Well, it's not exactly equal to the spiritual world. Huang Jin Nian Dai and Ling Shi Jie not exactly the yeah, people in the Satya Yuga, they were had their good qualities. But cannot say that everyone was a pure devotee. Just because it's such a yuga, they live a long time, okay, they follow the four principles, but it doesn't mean everybody's a devotee. 
。沙田年代、黄金年代的人们确实很长寿，也遵守思想原则，但是不能说黄金年代人人都是奉献者。There were also some demons in the Satya Yuga. 在黄金年代也有恶魔存在着。Okay. 嗯，呃，舒提如婆对不？大师 said, "Uh, okay, thank you, Guru." Next one is a comment from Shu Sumuki Radha Dasi. She said that as as 据我所知，这位樊老师是文达文的奉献者 r a d h a n a t h a m i m u t u 在梵文教学中已传播为目，很多新人被吸引进来，师姐的学习也围绕经典进行细致解释。背诵是老师的要求，以促进奉献者能够更专注、认真学习。很多人在老师的鼓励带领下进步非常大，每天清晨大家一起念诵圣名，确实感受到梵文的力量。Sumuki Radha Dasi said that explain that the Sanskrit teacher, um, who to, who teach sloka to devotee, she uh, this teacher lives in Vrindavan and a disciple of uh, Sri Radha Swami, and he carry out the program to teach Sanskrit sloka in order to spread Krishna consciousness, and many new fighters are attracted. And the, he also explained about the, um, about the, the scripture according to um, Sashra. And this teacher demand the students to recite shloka to promote their attentiveness uh, in their study. And uh, under the guidance of the teacher, many new body are encouraged and. To make progress, and every morning, early morning, everybody get up to chant the holy name together on the Zoom. Okay, very good. So I hope they'll keep it up for their whole life. That's very good. That's I hope they'll keep it up for their whole life. 下一个问题是来自于学会，而克什纳顶拜姑，请问如果将要起敌的人，家人知道我们信神，但家人感到吃肉，这人还能起敌吗？嗯、uh, ，If we want to get initiated, but our family family member no, they we we are we worship God, but they but our family member. Uh, still, they eat meat. They have the habit. Habit. Uh, under the circumstances, can we can we get initiated? Well, if you, like I say, you don't want to be cooking meat. You don't want to be touching meat. You don't want to be cooking the meat. You don't want to be buying the meat. You don't want to be serving the meat. 就刚才说过，就是那您自己不不要做肉，您自己就是不要碰这个荤食啊，去买呀、啊，然后给那个家人端这些食物荤的。The next one. And we should use different pots. If a pot is cooked meat in, if the cooked meat in that pot, you don't want to use that pot to cook for Krishna. We must also divide the table with the meat. That is, if the meat is used for cooking meat, we cannot use it to cook for Krishna. We must use a separate pot to cook for Krishna. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay.
，国王有点不清楚，怎么是地球的国王？谁是地球的国王？嗯，他没有说，他说，问啊 ，Ekshvaku, Ekshvaku, 啊 ，the question is about King Ekshvaku belong to the Solar Dynasty. Ah,、uh, how is that? Ek Ekshvaku is the king of the Earth. Well, well, Manu is already the father of mankind, right? Manu is here, and Exvaku. He is connected to Manu. Manu is the son of Swamibor Narada.、Oh, no. oh. Vibhushan Manave Prahur Man Manu Ekshvaka Be Pravit. So Vibhushan gave it to Manu. Manu gave it to Ekshvaku. So Vibhushan gave it to Manu, the father of mankind. Manu was on this planet. He's on Earth. Ekshvaku also was on the Earth planet. Okay. Uh, uh, The sun god. Yes. The sun god. Give the knowledge to Manu. And Manu gave it to Ekshvaku. Um, and um, Manu, then, also gave it to. So how did the sun god give it to Manu? Manu was on this planet, and sun god is up on the sun planet. But the sun god was able to give the knowledge to Manu, just like he gave the he, he gives the light. The rays, the heat from the sun, goes everywhere. The same way he's giving the knowledge, give the knowledge to Manu. Just like the sun can give the light, through the sun, the heat and the light that spreads throughout the whole universe. The same way, the sun god also gives the knowledge to Manu. Just like the sun can give the light, through the sun, the heat and the light that spreads throughout the whole universe. The same way, the sun god also gives the knowledge to Manu. 洛德拉玛·查德拉，从那里，从伊克法库。主张玛·查德拉就是伊克法库这个这个传系当中的这个家系当中的。So they were all on this planet a long time ago. 所以在嗯很久以前。历史上，他们都曾经在这个星球之上。Yes。嗯，下一个问题是：文言，禀拜古人。和所有奉献者，家里只有我一个人休息，奉爱瑜伽。为什么只觉得挂历？照片能分开在家里挂吗？会不会对照片上的神像形成冒犯呢 ？She said, "Um, in my family, only I practice back yoga. Can I put the picture and the calendar of Krishna separately in the house? Will there be any offense to the deity in the?" Uh, on the picture calendar. No. No offense. Just take care of it nicely. 
Just keep it safe. Keep Krishna's picture safe. And if you have difficulty to keep it somewhere safe, then ju just keep it wrapped in a piece of cloth. And the cloth will protect the picture and keep it clean and safe. Shai Harvansa,嗯,你卖姑姑荣耀归怕怕的,妻子带孩子忙,勉强念十六圈,现在参加六个月固定的网络,阿姨为大家学习,经常完不成圈,作为丈夫怎么劝说呢? He said, uh, Harvansa said that my husband, my wife, is very busy taking care of the children. Um, just uh, finished her 16 rounds. Now she is uh, learning Ayurveda on the internet and will cannot finish her rounds. Oh. As husband, what can I say to her? Well, she's very stupid. If she cannot finish her 16 rounds, she cannot be learning Ayurveda. She has to finish her 16 rounds. It's the most important. Who's teaching her Ayurveda? Where is she learning this Ayurveda from? Anyway, th this is not the real business of devotee. The real business of the devotee is to chant Hare Krishna. After you finish 16 rounds, then you can think about your Ayurveda. But don't learn Ayurveda until you finish 16 rounds. Guo Yisheng, oh, he said Guo Yisheng, Dr. Guo. Guo Yisheng, oh. Okay, I'm telling, she should first, she first has to finish her 16 rounds, otherwise she's not qualified to learn Ayurveda. Yes. The final one. Yeah. Uh, so if you, give money, if you give money to buy meat, then you also get karma. What to do? It's very difficult to avoid karma. 
，要避免夜包是很难。I know you. You're in that situation. You can't avoid it. You have to give the money. You have to give them the money. You have to do it. But still, there'll be some karma there, of course. But what can you do? You can only pray to Krishna. Pray to Krishna to protect you. That Krishna, please forgive me. That I really, you know. I really did, don't like to give money for him to go and buy meat, but I have no choice. I have no other way. Sometimes it's like that. You can't avoid these things. Yeah, many things we're going to get karma. So the, the, what we can do, we have to pray to Krishna to really help us and protect us. And you have to really chant the holy name and cry in the heart. And that I'm very unfortunate. So, karma. 我们只能祈求 Krishna 帮助保护，然后我们唱诵圣名，哭着唱诵圣名，在内心哭泣。我太不幸了，我只能这么做。Yeah, you have you have duties, you have responsibilities, you have to give money to people. They depend on you. And so you give them the money, and they take the money, and then they go and use it like that to buy drink or something, yeah. To buy alcohol or buy cigarettes or buy meat. What can you do? You what you can do? One thing you can do is you ask them, please, don't buy cow meat, because if you eat cow meat, that's the most sinful thing. Because our yeah, because the cow is the most sacred animal. Cow is the mother. Mm. 牛牛母牛就像我们的母亲是神圣的。So at least you can get them to respect the cow. 嗯，您就这样恳求他们，至少让他们可以尊重母牛。All right. So we come. Thank you, Lady Ashu. Huh? Okay. Okay, she thanks. says thank you. Thanks to God. Uh, um, there is still more what to do. What question? 文言，呃，碰过蛋的餐具还能给 Krishna 用吗？就是保以后再不碰这个鸡蛋了，但是以前碰过，还可以用吗？<laughs> well, we shouldn't give it use it for Krishna. No. She said she she guaranteed ne never to use it again to touch it, and can we still use it for Krishna? Use the pan. Use the use, use what? Maybe cooking pot. Yeah, well, the pot. If you used it to cook things in. Well, you used it to cook eggs. It's it's not very good. You should you have to really clean it very carefully. You know, to really clean it, you have to get cow dung, and you have to use the cow dung to clean it, and then you have to uh, wash it very carefully. You can't just use chemicals. But. Yeah. 
You know, it's up to you to decide what standard you want to do. You have to decide for yourself what, you, what is your standard going to be. If you cannot... Sorry, Maharaj, we cannot hear your voice. Really? You cannot hear my voice? Uh, 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 I'm too careful. Yes, I will translate. 那那个学会马拉基，这就是学您的标准。嗯，就是呃，您您要用的话，也要用牛粪，很小心的清洁，也不能用那个洗涤灵洗洗就算了。而而且这个就取决于您自己了，这件事儿。Next one is yes, okay, 差不多。That's about it. Yeah. You have to decide. She has, to, she has to decide. If she cannot get another pot, then she will have to use it. Okay. Uh, 读书了，是先念还是先读书？先念。First read, first chant, and then read. You have to chant your sixteen rounds. 那您得先念十六圈。She said it's time to associate with devotee and read read book with devotee, but we still finish cannot uh, haven't finished. We should we first uh, chant though, because it's time. Are you going to finish your rounds in the day? If you cannot finish your rounds in the daytime, then you cannot listen to the class in the morning. But you have to finish your 16 rounds. Harry Vansa said that uh, her, um, it's a bit of gummy, I know, I uh, know. She, 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 she wants to learn Ayurveda to, uh, to become healthy and to better to chant nicely. But she's not chanting. She's just learning Ayurveda. She's sacrificing her chanting time to learn Ayurveda. This is Nishat Tadad Jeko. Bushang Nian Song Tashang Shashi Ayurveda. Tabuyu Nish Nian Song. Jeko. Okay, what would you tell you show? Okay. Can she guru money? Can she start the function of LinkedIn? Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Jai.